Hey everyone, so this is Zach with another YouTube video. Um, today I'm talking about officers killed in the line of duty so far this year since the start of 2018. Um, I also want to talk about the racial tensions and some of the things I've been seeing lately. Um, now let's start with what I got so far. Um, since the start of 2018, 43 officers have died while on duty and 25 of those were caused by gunfire. Um, it says about 135 cops died in 2016 making it the deadliest year for police in at least five years ago. So that was two years ago. Now in 2017, there was 129 deaths on police on duty and 46 of those were caused by gunfire so for the people saying you know gun control okay one it's your right to bear arms okay I mean that's an amendment so for them to try and take away guns I don't know how good that's gonna go away especially in the like southern states where everybody likes to go hunting and fishing you know they and you know and some people just like to have guns for protection you know because you never know what's going to happen or where you're need it or you know whatever case may be you know you might need it and me personally i feel like gun control isn't going to help anything i mean it might help but if you take away guns, okay, that's just gonna make more people mad towards the government or whatever. And then for the criminals, they're gonna find a way to get a gun. If they wanna go in there and shoot someone, they're gonna find a way to shoot someone. Or if they're gonna shoot up a school, they're gonna find a way to shoot up a school. You know, I mean, they they just will. I mean, if they're determined to do it, they're gonna, they're gonna do it. You know, if uh, somebody says, I'm gonna shoot up a school, they're gonna shoot up a school, they're gonna find a way to do it, I'm sure. If they're serious about it you know and there's so many stolen guns out there on the streets and so many guns that have been misplaced so many guns that have been lost you know there's ways to get a gun you know you can just walk up to some guy on the street and buy a gun I'm sure somewhere in some of these states you could so I mean taking away people's guns I don't know if that's necessarily the best idea and me personally, you know, I don't see the problem with it. I think, you know, if you want to own a gun and have a gun, that, that's great, you know. And, you know, if you want to carry it with you, get your CDL, that, that's great. I mean, I think it's a good idea to carry a gun with you because you never know what's going to happen. You might have to protect yourself, protect someone else, you know. Protect yourself, you never know what's going to happen. Now, as far as police and racial tensions go, you know, not every cop is racist and not every person that encounters or has or deals with a cop is racist. It's just, it seems like the media only wants to show, you know, a cop did this day or a black person did this day, a white person did this day, a black person did this to a white person, a white person did this to a black person. That, white cop did this to a black person or a black cop did this to a white person these cops did this this person did this da, 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 da. you know and that's all people hear is the media talking about you know all the bad stuff about the cop did this the person did this you know and while there is a lot of bad crime out there don't get me wrong yeah I mean there's shootings every day I hear about on the news just about every day you know or someone stole this or you know or whatever the case may be and you know like I've been saying in my videos you know this isn't going to get better until people stand up and be like you know hey you know we don't want any more shootings we don't want any more off stand off shootings you know we want to get all the bad people put them in jail put all the bad cops in jail work together with the good cops you know and there are cops that that are like that you know um, there's this one cop I really like, um, his name is Officer Tommy Norman, um, I'm not sure exactly where department, he works out in the Midwest, I believe, um, but he's a great cop, you know, from what I've seen, 
I've uh, never met him in person, but from what I've seen on his YouTube, uh, his Facebook, yeah, he's trying to do just about in racial tension, you know, and he's a white guy trying to help, you know, get all the white people, you know, like, hey, you know, not all black people bad, and, you know, he's working with the black community, and they're like, oh, not all white people bad, just because, you know, slavery issue and race issue, you know, not everybody's like that, not everybody's bad, you know. And I like that because, you know, someone has to start somewhere and then they just keep going by itself and going by itself. And, you know, not everybody's going to agree with you. Not everybody's going to have their own opinion. Da, da, da. But even if you have one person, you know, even if they don't change someone else, say you change that person's mind, but they don't change anyone else. Okay, that's still one person's mind that you change that is willing that is working with you now instead of working against you or working with you now but you know i mean and you know not everybody agrees with me on this you know some people don't want change i feel like and but i feel like there's a lot more people that do want change than don't want change but you know that's how i feel and everybody got an opinion but let me know how you guys feel about this um also like i've been saying if you see any videos you want me to do, comment on it, right, reaction views, comments, post the link down in the description below. Um, if you know where you saw the video, um, you can tell me where you saw it. Um, I'll look it up, try and look it up, and find it and comment. Um, that's all I got for right now. Thank y'all. Have a good day.